What's up everyone? Live filming a video on a uh, good soup. So I'm just gonna put you down right there. Let's set up the shot. That's a pretty good angle. All right. I should probably plug the damn phone in so it doesn't die. Let me know if you guys can see this. Say hello. All right. Putting my microphone on. It's got a little magnet, so I could put it in my sleeve. And it's kind of out of the way. It clips on just like that. Not bad. And then I put this on the camera. Come on. Right. Just setting up everything. This is the not so fun part. And I've got flour all over my iPad. Cool. Will it turn on? That is the question. There we go. Focus. Come on. It's always just a pain to get everything going. Come on, hurry up. Stupid cameras. Okay, why aren't you focusing? There we go. A little too bright for my taste. And we're good. Stay center. Good. Okay.
Where is my lid? I guess I won't neglect you entirely. What's up, everyone? Holy crap. Hey, yeah, Josh, uh, I am actually going to make pozole. So that's kind of cool that you said that. Thank you for joining Dalton. Um, everyone on this, be sure to share it and like it. Boosts the life. Uh, but other than that, let's go on, get on to making this good. I can't even talk right now. Let's go on to making this good soup day six. That's what I'm doing. All right, apron is sus. You Gen Zers, man. Okay, let's do it. Good soup day six. I want to make a pozole. I've done pozole on the channel many times before, so I'm gonna do something a little different for you guys. Um, vegetarian for you guys. Keep asking for vegetarian stuff. I don't know if it's quite vegetarian. It might be. Either way, um, butternut squash. The butternut squash to me is like the real October November star. Like usually if you have a pumpkin pie, it's typically not all pumpkin. It's usually butternut squash in that can. You're not gonna usually see a fully pumpkin pumpkin pie, if that makes any sense. Anyways, first off, I need to get my squash peeled and cut. But first, let me know in the comment section below, which squash do you wanna see? This fun looking squash right here, or this fat little stubby one? I kind of want to go for this fat little stubby one. To me, it looks the best. This one's a little sus, as the Gen Zers would say. Get this and my peeler. Now I'm just going to peel the squash. Typically, you would cut these guys in half, and that'd be way easier to scoop it out and roast it. But I want to... Um, I want to cook it all together so I could just do like one good blend. I think my peeler is kind of crappy right now, to be honest. Maybe I need a better peeler. There it is. There we go. My gosh, are they backwards today? I'm only going to do like half of my squash, too because I don't really need that much right now. So my peelers are kind of shitty right now, 
but as one of my old chefs would tell me is, a poor craftsman blames his tools. So I'm just rolling with it. Like I said, typically I wouldn't peel it, so I would roast it in halves. So this is all I need right now. Hold on, let me go upstairs real quick. Okay, so this is about, I'd say, two and a half cups of butternut squash. Just gonna cut nice uniform pieces so it all cooks the same. Now I wanted to do butternut squash for this because I think this one has a really nice texture and flavor when it comes to pureeing it for a soup. It's really creamy. For those of you that really like pumpkin spice, I've done a video on pumpkin spice, uh, like lattes with a uh, butternut squash. It's really nice. That's just going to go in here. And just uh, yellow onion, probably half of this guy. I don't need that much. I'm not making a soup for 10 people. I'm making a soup for two. And also, since this is all gonna get pureed, it really doesn't matter how I'm gonna cut this. I could just cut everything all, you know, the same size roughly, and that's it. Probably just take the end off and then do equal size cuts. Okay. All right, so now 
Am I even recording? Okay, that would suck if I wasn't recording. Okay. Now on to what's gonna make this taste more like a pozole. The chiles. This is huajillo chile. Let me show it to you. This is a huajillo chile. This dried guy right here. This is gonna be the star of the dish. I know the squash, yes, the star, but this is the flavor when it comes to the star of the dish. So I'm gonna do about right about this much huajillo chiles. And then we're gonna do some of these oregano flower buds. Now these guys are freaking stunning from Spice Tribe. Really beautiful little buds from them as well. That's gonna go in probably a little last, we'll see. And then the cumin. Some really nice cumin as well is gonna get tossed in there. So I'll put the cumin in now. The chiles, what I wanna do is I wanna deseed them first. So all this stuff, that just comes on out. And now I'm just gonna toss these in whole, but not yet. They're gonna get tossed in right when I toss in my chicken stock. If you want this to be completely vegetarian, just do vegetable stock. to the pot. get some oil in here. It's a generous amount of oil because remember we're not working with any meats here so I want a good amount of fat. And then from take my watch off and just toss it in all of my veggies. are going in. Season that, of course. Just 
saute this a bit so the onions get a little translucent. Squash gets a little bit of color. What's up, chat? How's everyone doing? Yes, this is a BTS. Hey, thank you very much, Faithlin. Uh, the soup is currently back there working. We're doing a, uh, what's it called? <laughs> I'm already forgetting. Butternut squash uh, bosole. Am I gonna join the kick platform? I don't know what that is. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Darth Nug. I do live in Seattle, yes. Yes, I do. Man, so far, the live on YouTube is really popping off compared to this live over here. That's saying something. I have two lives going, by the way, if you guys don't know. Two phones back to back here. Uh, yeah, basically like a puree squash. That's what's going on. I've never been in Toronto. I've never been in Canada. I am going to go there this year. Um, I don't really stream anywhere else other than YouTube. It's currently TikTok here, but um, I think I'm liking YouTube more. Actually, even the comments are a lot nicer on YouTube, to be honest. Uh, this is a 30-day good soup challenge. Uh, it's just a good soup series, I guess. Uh, what's up, Skylar? Yep, YouTube Live is winning. Yeah, TikTok is brutal. Uh, let's see, should I switch to YouTube Live? Yeah, definitely switch to YouTube Live. That's the move. That's the move. I'm going to get back to my soup so it doesn't burn, but I'll be here. For those just joining, currently filming a YouTube video on Good Soup Day 6. Where was the high school you went to that has a culinary program? Um, I don't know if you're talking to me, but my high school did not have a culinary program. I wish it did. That'd be cool. Uh, I did go to culinary school, though. I'm making butternut squash pozole. 
What's up, Riri? Yup, good soup. Hey, chef, that acorn squash looks good. Yes, chef. I'm actually gonna do acorn squash as my garnish for this soup. All right, let's get this camera back on. Man, it's already smelling good. Okay. so I keep forgetting. Okay, while that soup is going on here, I'm gonna work on my garnish for the soup. Now typically a garnish for pozole is cilantro, some cabbage, some sour cream. Of course the hominy goes in, but that's not a garnish. I wanna do a more fall themed garnish. So I'm gonna do acorn squash. I'm gonna roast this off hard. And then I'm also gonna serve it with some pepitas. Let's just get this acorn squash this acorn squash ready to go. So typically what you could do is slice it like this or cut it in half and slice it like this. Um, I want it to be nice little rings so I'm just gonna cut it like ring way. Ring way? I don't know how you call it. Whatever. I'm gonna slice little circles. go ahead and scoop off those excess seeds. You can use the seeds as garnish too if you want. I just already have my pepitas here. Makes my life easier. Also, sorry if I'm a little quiet today, guys. Um, just been feeling like really overwhelmed and just a lot going on lately. I was like uh, just laying down the other day and the room started spinning. I'm actually wearing like a, like a freaking heart monitor for like two weeks. So that's fun. But if I don't sound uppity up, that's why. Okay. These are just gonna get a touch of olive oil, salt, and then some Aleppo. Aleppo all over that. I love Aleppo, especially on acorn squash. That just gets tossed in the oven. Should probably get a different angle for the TikToks and the shorts. Something I was always taught by one of my chefs is, sounds kind of corny, but it's actually pretty true. Clean as you go, sign of a pro. Just keep that in mind.
Cool. We're going, everybody. Now I'm back. I'm just waiting for my soup to cook. So I'm here. If you have any questions, make a sancocho with. That sounds bomb. I learned that from my head chef as well. Yep. Love your videos, chef. You inspire me to cook more. Every day. Hey, thanks very much, plotter. What do y'all think of this squash, though, huh? Pretty big, huh? Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so far, I'm digging the YouTube one a lot more, guys. YouTube's winning. YouTube has the nicer comments, too, I gotta say. I'm doing good. How are you, Dion? <laughs> you know what you're doing. Yep. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is, Emily. Hey, I'm doing good. How are you, uh, David? Thanks for joining, Diego. Hey, dude, I'm making a recipe for your French onion soup right now from Good Soup. Last year? What? Damn. I've never used Hexclad. What's up, Skylar? Um, wow, last year's Good Soup was fun because I remember I made all of them in one day. Uh, what are you making in the kitchen? I'm making Good Soup day six. A pozole with a butternut squash. Glute spread for the live. Lady Bird is actually upstairs right now asleep. Yeah. But yeah, no, I've never used the hex clad. I'm not really sure what it would be like. Maybe like a nonstick. Yeah. But yeah, this is my setup right now. This is what I do. I just have to stand around and wait. And then I film it. Then I eat it. Then I edit it. Then I put it up. And then I do it again. And again and again and again and again. That's what's going on. Sometime I can... Wait, what? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, thank you very much, much Genesis uh, Bay. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Favorite type of meat? Um, shoot, I love oxtails. I grew up on sopa de fideo, of course. I grew up on that, delicious. Thoughts on reheating soup, pot versus microwave. Pot all day. A nice thick pot, low, slow, bring it up. I love sushi too. What's your favorite type of sushi? It's cool to see how it is behind the scenes. Yeah, I mean, this is how it is. There's a lot of waiting around, basically. The squash is starting to smell good though. So there's that. I have acorn squash in the oven. I've got butternut squash in the pot with uh, chile guajillo, and it's got uh, some onion, it's got some Mexican oregano, and cumin. The oven acorn squash has espalette and some oil. That's it. California sushi rolls. Yeah, those are I, I love that imitation crab. It's dank. My favorite good soup is... Okay, come on. Um, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's a new kitchen for me. I just moved here. I am from South Texas, Brownsville, very tip of Texas. It's where Elon Musk is launching rockets right now. Ooh, a seafood boil would be bomb. That would be really bomb. Yeah, I think I'm liking the YouTube one more because the TikTok one has a bunch of like pop-ups up here and it's kind of distracting. While as in the YouTube one is nice and clean. And also the comments are nice and clean, which I like. Very different. Maybe because there's a lot of kids on that one. And over here is more like, you know, grown people. I don't know. Who knows? I'm, what is that? 
No, 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 don't send me that. Thank you though, but don't don't send me anything. I don't no. Save your save your ice cream cones. I appreciate it. Um what is up, Faisal? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh Tommy. Yeah, so do I. So do I. Thoughts on growing. Thoughts on growing your own food. Would you try it? Uh, of course I would. I mean, I've grown some things like strawberries and chive blossoms and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm live on two platforms right now. So sorry if I can't keep up with all the questions and stuff. Currently, we've got the soup going. It's a pozole with butternut squash. Where are my towels? Where are they? We're going. It's looking good. Okay. Now I need to figure out what bowl I should use. Comment down below which bowl you think I should use, because currently I don't really know. I really like this one. I'm really liking this one right now. My friend made me this one. It's really nice. Um, I think aesthetically, I'm between these two. Aesthetically. Not sure. What do you think? Left or right? Left or right? Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. Got a brand new blender, everyone. Super new. Thanks to Grubble. Thank you, bro, for sending me this stuff. I love you guys' products. It always works great, it always lasts. No problems here. So new that the plug cover's still on it. That's a great feeling. Does she work, is the question. We have power. <laughs> We're going everyone. We're still going. I've got YouTube live here, TikTok live here. YouTube live is so far winning. I think I'm gonna stick to that one. It's a lot nicer. Uh, we've got butternut squash soup or butternut squash pozole going in the back. What's up Aunt Jackie? My Aunt Jackie's here on TikTok. Um, are there any soups made from tea? 
Good question. I think I've had one that was made with uh, oolong. I might have been mistaken. What is that, Dion? I don't know what that is. But yeah, we're working with butternut squash today on Good Soup Day 6. And then this is not related to the video, but I'm going to have this for my lunch right now. Just a good old Wagyu American beef flap because I'm hungry. All I've had for breakfast is uh, like two eggs. That's all I've had. Actually, I'm going to have a snack right now. Snack time. I've been loving these things. They're these like pop tart, uh, strawberry protein things. Have you ever cooked Japanese dry curry mapu trout? I have not. I'm making dry poblano, dry poblano chile rellenos in caldillo. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. I love poblanos. Make a soup from jasmine tea. Oh, hey, Vicky. Looks like a pop tart. Tastes like a pop tart, but full of protein. Can you download the Subway app? soup on the camera make pop tarts i actually just did if you go to the tiktok or the instagram or the youtube anywhere i just did one at the nfl field butternut clam chowder interesting I'm making uh, butternut squash pozole. They're like chili rellenos, but I use the dry ones, toast and stuff them. Oh, wait a second. Aren't the dry chili rellenos um, chile ancho? Is, are you talking about ancho chile? You're talking about these, right? These are chile ancho, the dried version of poblano. Is that what you're talking about? So you're saying you, you stuff these. You stuff these, is that what you're saying? Really? Do you toast them off before you stuff them? I'm curious. Because you gotta reconstitute it so they're like softer. Really, okay. What do you stuff them with? I'm curious, I wanna try this now. What are they called exactly? Uh, do I still drive purple? It's not purple, but yeah, it's it's like a matte blue. Toast them, queso fresco. Okay, and it's not overwhelming. Interesting. I gotta try this. Do you fry them too? Your mom made them. No. Okay. What's up, Wendran? Yeah, I, I'm making something back there. Tiger is upstairs working.
Smells good, that's for sure. Oh, hey, yeah, Jackie. All right, guys, in Seattle, we can drink out of the sink. The, the water's great. But for some reason, I've really been loving this water from Mount Fuji, this canned water. It's really good stuff. I don't know where you can find it anywhere else in the States, but since in Seattle, we have a very heavy Asian Japanese community, I, I find these everywhere. But this water is so good. Spring water from uh, Mount Fuji. You're from Michoacan. Nice. Seattle's gonna lose their baseball team. How so? Make fried pork skin with avocado as a dip. Are you talking about chicharron? Isn't that an old trend already? Never had water from Mount Fuji, even on Japanese. <laughs> What's up, Emily? Uh, yeah, I'm making butternut squash pozole. Cold water is good. Well, no, not any cold water. If you have sink water from my hometown, it's not good. Matt, Tiger, what are you eating? Tiger, crunch wrap supreme. Matt takes away, makes a gourmet one. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. All right, I'm gonna use that later. This thing is bothering me. I have this stupid heart monitor on for like two weeks. It's driving me crazy. First time I see water in a can. It's actually kind of nice. Um, shoot, we're already entering Thanksgiving, huh? Uh, no. Maybe I'll just redo all my old Thanksgiving videos. If you're in Seattle, you go to Wajamaya. That's so funny. I literally just went to Wajamaya. I was just there. That's where I got all my stuff. Hey, what's up from the UK? Halloween's next week. Yeah, it's going by too fast. Tony was spelt Tona like baloney. Oh, I get it. That's funny. Why is the YouTube one way more engaging? Like this one has some weird comments. What is going on here? I feel like maybe that one's just fake. Chicken wasn't seasoned, LOL. I haven't dressed up for Halloween in I don't know how long. Watching my eyes, previous companies. Oh, really? One of your clients, what do you do? Thank you very much. I just moved here. What's up, Caroline? All right, we gotta go back to the stove top.
once your squash is nice and soft, just like that, we take it off the heat. And now this is the easy part. We just put everything into the blender. Everything goes in. Also guys, I've never made this before. So go ahead and like, like and subscribe. I've never made this before. We'll see if it's good. <laughs> Season that a bit. Then we blend. That lens is, yeah, it's a pretty big lens. It's a big lens. Japanese food distributor. Yo, that's rad. You should hit me up. I want some of that stuff. Tommy, send me a DM. Yeah, of course, anytime. So secure, man. Brand new blender. Ooh. Little tasty taste. Always taste your food. I 
I gotta say, that's actually really nice. I like the wahio with the squash. That's a good combo. I like it. Okay. I'm gonna do some more salt. But I'm also gonna add in some more chile wahio because I want more of that wahio. Although, I don't think it needs it. I just, I love wahio. Now the hominy goes in. That's going to be all the flavor, basically. That goes in. Soup goes on the top like that. All of that comes out. some cilantro get chopped up and thrown in for that flavor. A lot of people don't realize this, but most of the flavor from cilantro comes from the stem. Little tip if you didn't know that. Because you know, typically with parsley, you want to remove it off the stem. Stems aren't really good in parsley. So that's probably where the confusion comes from. I was thinking of doing sage for this, but the flavors I'm getting with that wahio, I don't want sage. I'm still craving cilantro. on the heat just for a bit. basically ready to plate. Oh, let me show you the, the squash that I got. So here's the acorn squash. That's what the squash should look like after. That's a beautiful garnish for the top of our soup. Let me show the live. All right, I'll give you guys some love. Here you go. That's gonna be the top of the soup. A little acorn squash.
Can't forget about my snack. Get this up close and personal. That's the winner. That's the winner right there. needs to be a touch more angled, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there we go, that's what I want. Okay. Perfect. Ah, shit. Okay, I have to somehow weigh this down. Why aren't you staying where I want you to stay? Let's see. How can we go about this? Good old tape. Sorry if I'm out of frame, guys. I'm just trying to tape this stupid camera down. So you see what I'm dealing with here. I just needed to see this one angle. I just need this one, one shot, one moment, one opportunity.
Everything you ever wanted. That moment. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Vomit on a sweater. All right, you're, you get it. All right, that's gonna be good. That's better. That's better. And that is good soup, day six. Pozole with butternut squash. Good soup, day six. This might be a good thumbnail. Cool. Good soup, day six. Butternut squash, pozole. And that's a short intro. See, that's how we do it. We film multiple intros in case you fuck up, you want a new one. You got the point. Let me see if you guys can come closer. That one can't come very close. Oh wait, I could just remove you off the charger and then you can come see what I got. Hold on. Show me what you got. What's up? Ta-da! There's the soup. Microphone. Oh wait, I should probably stop recording. Boop. Thank you for joining me on Good Soup, day six. Don't forget to like this live, and if you want more lives, let me know in the comments. I will see you soon. Bye, love you.